All right. Well, where are we at? How many of you got together last week? Sorry, I couldn't make it last week. We got we got some stuff done. But yeah. I could answer your question that you had uh, from last week about fireboats being able to land on the beach. Uh, the fireboat over in Bellingham, it, it's not a landing craft. It does have to have a dock. Okay. And we've actually practiced with loading uh, patients on there, which basically takes an extension ladder, laying one end of it on the beach, the other end on the bow, which is about six feet high and sliding a uh, patient on the gurney up the ladder with multiple people on either side. So Mary, you can imagine having your husband strapped to a flat board and him sliding up that. And then mm -hmm. it's a very narrow walkway around the cabin of that boat. Whereas mm -hmm. if you put it on the side, it would make it easy with a dock. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll get can... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I can I can imagine that very easily being very difficult. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll just give you an update of where I'm at. The newest information I have as of now, uh, the commissioners are working on trying to figure out what they can do and how they can do it to the county uh, council. And uh, they're not even sure how to go about it necessarily. Uh, they do like the idea of having something in place, of course, but uh, they're, they're actually not liking the idea of more workload, but they understand that we are pushing for it and they're willing to work uh, at doing just that. So they will be trying to figure out how to make that happen. They're in process right now. I'll give you a further update on that the next meeting. Great. Uh, and then I just sent to Lane uh, three neighbors that will be highly impacted by this via email. Uh, if Lane, you can add that to our notes uh, when you get a chance. But uh, Ed and Helen Scott are not in favor of a dock just because of the trespassers that they already have problems with. I asked them, is there any way that we could mitigate that to make it better? And in their opinion said, no, they don't want it, but they want it for the island. So they're in support of it for islanders and they're basically like, bottom line is, by the time it gets done, we're going to be gone and out of here anyway. So just know that right now it was to happen. We don't support it just for that reason. The other two neighbors that I've spoke with so far are Col Colleen McCrory, who is the realtor uh, in the office right there at the post office, uh, along with uh, uh, <laughs> Angie. Uh, and she spoke for Angie at this point will let me know if there's anything different, but they're in full support of it with no mitigation factors needed whatsoever. They think it's a great idea. And then Dave King, who lives right next to the post office on the north side between uh, the post office and, uh, well, there's one other cabin there too, uh, right next to Ed and Helen Scott. They are in complete support of it with no mitigation needed for any reasons whatsoever. His, he's of the mindset when they've bought their property, they took down all the no trespassing signs and they're happy if people want to be on their property and use it. They love, love the site and they're like, if we're not here, we don't care if people want to hang out on our property. That's great. So, so far we've had two in full support and only one negative. I've got calls into uh, multiple other uh, property owners in the area and waiting to hear back. That's what I have new. Go ahead, Alan. Would you call that negative or um, could you call it something else? Like a, because if they're out, you were talking about them not being around when it was done, right? Mm -hmm. Is there, is there some other word smithing that can be put on that? I bet you there is. That's just all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the words they use. She, she actually said, well, Ed and I will be dead by the time it gets done anyway. So it's really a moot point. I wasn't going to say that. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know. Like you say, it's, it, the construction is not going to start tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
But again, they did say that they're in support of a dock for the island. They know that there's a need. They, they like that idea. They just don't like it where it's at because it impacts them personally. Okay. But Could, no, can, no can, we, can, can we sort of like phrase them that way um, sure. rather than just saying no or negative, but phrase what they've said? Uh, I think that would read as a more complete answer. Just a suggestion. That sounds good. Who else has something new? Well, I checked out the uh, the current site uh, just to see what the rules were. If there was a daytime use only uh, posted, which there is, it says that beach access is only from sun rise to sunset uh no campfires and all that jazz uh and i did take some uh measurements of uh of the platform and its height above the high tide line uh, which is 16 feet right now um so i have a little bit better uh data to to model something after um and i haven't had any time to adjust my my previous model but uh, once these pipes stop freezing, then I can get to that. I guess they have stopped freezing. Once they stop leaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, nothing else new. Well, shall we continue to refine the fine work that Lane's been doing for us? Going through the slides. <laughs> Let me just um, go back because there were one or two things. Oh, I know that the schedule was the biggest one. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll share. Oh, let me get your screen sharing on me, Lane. Just a second, Lane. Okay, okay. You're able. Go ahead. Okay. Nice to have you back, Alan, by the way. Sorry for your Yeah, loss. sorry about that. I'm, okay. I've been having lots of issues here at the house, and I'm still not 100% available, but. Okay, so the biggest, um, I wanted to try to get in one flow um, for kind of where we are with uh, from today to getting to a presentation for the parks and recreation. And I, I at this time, I, I put these, how far out it was based on last, I think on last Sunday. So these, some of these have changed a little bit. And I was particularly concerned because where we are down now, let me think, this is 10 days basically, so one and a half weeks to the LIFAC um, presentation. Uh, it'll be a pretty short presentation, like only 10 minutes, but we'll still need to set aside some time and figure out what it is we wanna say and extract from the existing presentation what we would, um, provide at that meeting. Um, I did tell Rayma that we'd go ahead and send something ahead of that meeting, not way ahead, but enough that, that someone else can bring it up on screen just in case. And then we just wanna talk about who will present that. So um, that's a high priority to, to go ahead and think about that. Um, and then the article for the tome, which again is due in about a week and a half. For the tome and the website. Um, oh, right. Good point. Um, <laughs> which is right. And when um, when would you? We we talked about using it. We just didn't. We said maybe like ten days before a public meeting. Do you want to do it about the same time as it does? You do the tome then. It doesn't we, matter to me. It's whatever you want. I just. Okay, well, just always want to remember the, the website. <laughs> okay, but I think I think you're probably right. I mean, once you we've written the article for the tome, it's pretty much same thing. Ready, right? Um, yep. Just decide whether there were pictures. Right. Yeah, you have you have the advantage here of you can you can say more here on the than on the tome, but the tome art tome articles are always a good starting point. 
right. So let's say that was January 15th or something like that. Um, and uh, so that's basically two weeks. And Lane, yeah. one thing just, uh, we, we try to call the, instead of like a website, call it the community website. Oh, okay. And if no one wants to hop at the opportunity to share the slide presentation that we come up with, uh, I'm, I am more than happy to do it, but I don't necessarily have to do it if somebody else wants to do it. I have no desire to. <laughs> Lane? Um, yeah, I'm not able to right now. I'm in the middle of, I'm just here. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to get through the, the these dates first, just so so we all agree on this the, these dates. You guys are seeing my my um, screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So just wanting to make sure that we have um, mm. uh, a, a clear picture of what we need to be getting done in the highest priority, which would be the the thing. Actually, I met, I didn't start with a ferry impact survey which I know Alan and Mary have been working on. We talked a little bit from last week. Mm -hmm. So if we want to get that done, early January is happening. Yeah, yeah. You all, uh, were sent, you all were sent a link to it, to look at it. Yeah, and I would like to just have a, a little bit of chance to have some discussion about, about that tonight. Mm -hmm. Since we have more people than just Lane and I. Yeah. <laughs> So um, let's see. So the tome, the community website um, would be basically a post um, article and some slides. Mm -hmm. And then point, and then on next door, we would point to the website. Oh, okay. Um, or Facebook. Okay. Um, Facebook? No. Well, I think Chris, I think, I think when we talked before, I think Chris might be the only one who uses Facebook. Yeah. Is that right? There's quite a few Islanders that check the- right. I just meant from yeah. us. I didn't mean yeah. you, you're the only yeah. Islander. I just meant of the committee. Mm. Uh, I know I'm not. Um, yeah. I don't have an account anymore. No. Nope. Um, not a, I don't have a real account. I have a pretend account. Um, so, and then the Leica presentation in four weeks. Um, Mary's going to check on that on the 11th, make sure that we're on the agenda for that. And she was guessing maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah. That could be like a go through of our preliminary, you know, kind of a pre, a pre warm up presentation for the general community meeting that we're going to have. We can run it by at the general Leica meeting see how it goes and then uh, do a little tweaking on it before we have the, just the plain community meeting. Um, the other things are more like about like the third week of January. I personally am one of these people who would, I'm, I'm kind of like a two weeks out person. So I figure if there's things that are within the two and three weeks out, we probably should have a plan for how we're going to get that done so that we're ready on the, the day. Um, if we still think that the town meeting February 7th would be right for the town meeting. Still on, we're still on board with that. Um, yeah. Hold on. Let me look at what time on is that going to be? Good question. Um, because the only reason I say that is FOIL may have a board meeting now. No. Wait a minute. That that would be okay, I think. Anyway, let me double check. No, it would be on the tenth. So never mind. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So trying to trying to avoid any other meetings. Yeah. Um, oh wait a minute, February, February. 
February. Yeah, yeah, no, it'll be the 14th. So yeah, it's fine. Okay. The only thing that uh, happens normally on the that Monday would be the book club, and I don't think I don't think they're meeting. Okay. Let's see. Um, have the survey ready at that same time, so we get, can give people a link to the survey when we're as soon as we're finishing the presentation. And then Mary and I were talking about Parks and Recreation. Apparently they meet on the third. Uh, I think it's the third Thursday. And uh, if we've just done the town meeting on February 7th, we weren't sure if February 17th would be too fast to do a presentation for the Parks and Recreation. I don't know how long, I don't know what kind of uh, lead time they need to get on an agenda actually. I'm not sure I can get clarification from uh, Terry on that and go from there. I'll do that, you know. And, and how, um, and also how long a presentation would they be looking for? Okay. I will find that out. Okay, but for now, I think just leaving that as a potential target date, let's just yeah. now and, you know, if we're able to make it great, if we're not able to make it. There you go. We're all volunteers. So, you know, hey. so um, any other, any other dates, any other things I missed? So as, we, through, as we go through the, the, um, presentation tonight, let's just think about earmarking uh, which slides or kind of what um, talking points. If we only have like 10 minutes for LIFAC, it's not like we can cover a lot. <laughs> um, so while we're looking at the slides, let's, let's look at that. And then I don't know if we have someone who would volunteer to do a first draft of the tome article or what, what do you guys think? I could do that. I can write a draft and then we can review it maybe next week. Mary, that would be awesome. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Um, how, how much, I'm like, you have this much. <laughs> it looks oh, like it's, it, Paul likes to have 250 Mm -hmm. 300 words max that he oh, likes okay. to usually keep him about 250. Yep. Oh, okay, great. Okay. Um, that will be awesome. Okay. Um, and then from there, we can think about for the website. Awesome. Okay, good. Um, as long as we're working on those things, I feel better. I just don't want it to get to a crunch where we suddenly realize, oh, there's something we're supposed to do by tomorrow. <laughs> Okie doke. And uh, we talked about doing some other, um, uh, again, I'm, I'm like, this is longer than two weeks, so I don't really care that much, but I grabbed some key points about how we wanted to get information out about the public meeting so people can think about um, how we would um, publicize that. And um, I'm happy to, I'll draft a um, uh, maybe do a first draft of a flyer, but not not this week. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm happy to stick them okay. up. Mary, I think you had said you would too, but uh, not that many. I'm happy to do it. Okay. Okay, great. Um, the only other thing from last week, Mary, uh, you had mentioned, talked about getting that message, that um, email from Tom Philpot. Yes. I don't know if you had yeah. any follow-up now or you just want to send yeah. it on. And you know what? I forgot to mail that out. I got just so busy down here. It's hard when I'm not in full focus oh, yeah. mode at home. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can look that up. Tom okay. Tom Philpot had sent me an email and he's running for one of the spots on LIFAC. Um, and he had researched with Outer Island Excursions about water taxi, um, using their water taxis and stuff like that. His email didn't include anything about costs or anything like that. Um, 
And I will forward it. I'll just go in and find it in my email right now on my phone and forward it to everybody. So you have a copy of what he's thinking about. I meant to do that and I just, God, <laughs> but um, those are some of the highlights of it. The vessels and captains are all US Coast Guard licensed. Um, they, the boats can land directly on beaches or docks. Uh, they really don't have a front opening access, but they have a ladder that will go over the top of the boat and people can climb up the ladder and get into the boat. Uh, they put the ladder down on the beach. Oh, they um, have. Yeah, but I don't think they're there. I don't think they are like landing craft where the where the whole bow drops open. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are not. Okay. And laying just down there at the bottom where a boat in Bellingham does not need a dock, they use an extension ladder as a yeah. portable, I would say, gangway rather than. Yeah, I said ram. <laughs> yeah. Ram. No, ram the speed. <laughs> <laughs> okay we actually uh, i know you'll appreciate this chris we did a um a ropes course with our fire department um for search and rescue um uh -huh. in um northern california and my husband volunteered to be the one that we uh laced into the um board and then put on the ladder put him down into the gully used Turn him upside down and then use his ladder to run down. <laughs> so a kind of an urban, urban practice, but in a um, a uh, deep gully in uh, uh, behind the fire department. So whenever I say ladder, I um, get laughing because <laughs> he was the smallest guy and he fit. We he was he was felt very secure. But we have pictures of him and it, it's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, as long as we don't say this, you have to walk the plank. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> I won't do that. And I think tying people into a gurney doesn't come across well. But well, it's just strapping is yes. what they they refer to it as usually. Yeah. So uh, just for your guys' knowledge too, this uh, outer island excur excursion guy called the fire department and uh, requested or made known his willingness to transport for the fire department if they ever wanted to. Uh, but what I understand is that he wants a contract with the fire department and uh, that'll be brought before the commissioners, but because of all the negatives, mm. his availability and stuff, it, it, you know, in my mind, it's not going to ever come to fruition. Yeah, but it might be a good idea just as a, a you know, the sky is falling type um, <laughs> thing to have in, our, in the pocket. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Um, I think that was then. Corrections will be made and all right. And yes, it was, oh, I, uh, maybe you guys talked about that right before I popped on, but there was a recording from last, last okay. week. Okay, uh, because I didn't see an email with it, the link I to it. probably, I thought I sent it. But I will check to be sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can do both tonight. It'll, it'll be easy enough. Okay. Okay. And that's actually what, while I'm listing, I'm trying to get back up to speed on some stuff. <laughs> okay. And, yeah. And I'm just, I'm kind of being distracted because I'm trying to like send this out, uh, this, these, these two emails from. Uh... Okay. Well, while you're to doing the rest that, of the committee, I can. Yeah, uh, we're, we're multitasking. We're multitasking, yeah. Yeah. So let's see. What's the easiest way? Let me. Um, I think maybe one of our missions uh, tonight too will be to. Um, I don't know how much you guys use PowerPoint, but one of the nice things about PowerPoint is if we're going through this. And I'm, I'm just gonna show you the kind of the layout view here. If we said, gee, you know, I bet this isn't, maybe this isn't something we need. What we can do is say, well, we're not sure yet. You know, we're trying to get this down to the, 
the let's the facts and just the facts, ma'am. Um, mm -hmm. Let's say that we did not want uh, to show a slide. We can just um, hide it. Yep. And it's still here. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't show up in a presentation. It doesn't show up if you print it or anything. It's just like if maybe this is something we wanted for our own notes. We weren't sure yet. So if, these, if there's anything people say, well, I'm not sure about that yet. Let's just go ahead and, and hide it for now. And then we can come back and think about it later. Honestly, I think some of these things are not going to be that apparent until at least one of us starts doing a dry run and others are listening and saying, ah, you know, we don't need that. <laughs> so for right now, though, it's super easy to um, hide and unhide and it doesn't delete. It just is in the background. Okay, so let's see. We, um, I think our highest priority now, we, we, we I, I try to clean up some of this. I think I showed you that I mm. consolidated some things and was trying to um, see if you guys can see that reasonably well. There we go. Um, sort of get to the, the, goals quickly, the scope and terms. Um, uh, I did add the, um, I think since we last talked, I real, forgot that we, we want to make sure that we're very clear about the difference between emergency and urgent. Mm -hmm. Right, that we tell people we're not trying, there's already, there are plans in place if we have an emergency scenario, what we're talking about is urgent. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we also talked about where during the presentation, um, it says brief use cases here that we can hand out to people, you know, a, a notes page mm -hmm. um, where they see the slide. And then at the bottom, we can print, you know, whatever we want to as, as basically like think of it as handout. So we could have a description down here that we don't maybe don't cover in the presentation. Maybe it comes up in one of the questions or whatever, but that's part of what I think we're gonna to have to think about is if there's a very brief bullet point and people are like, oh, we wanna say more, I think this is a place to say it. So I think- we'll I think public work or uh, parks department will want some detail. Exactly. That perfect, perfect cabinet there for us, yeah. Yes, so if people, don't want it they can ignore it <laughs> that but that's a nice aspect so again it, it gives us a chance to maybe uh, have placeholders that we come back and revisit later or that we just say hey you did want more details it's in the notes pages um, but I thought for us that um, it was important I think it will I think honestly it'll be a struggle to get people to recognize the difference between emergency and urgent and and where they think we have, a lot of emergency plans in place or not, we certainly don't have urgent um, plans A, B, or C. Okay, let's see here. Um, so why don't, I think those are the only other, um, um, That, that might be, I couldn't remember, that was a change since we last. Um, let's see, we, I, think we, I think I went over these with you. We talked about yeah. just trying to summarize the, um, why this is important. Yeah. And I think we're still trying to find a, an answer for this, right? Mm -hmm. we don't, it seems to be a little hard to track. I did notice, Alan, have you started putting on the community website when there's an outage? But that's new, isn't it? Um, explain what you mean. Um, I noticed that you, you had a, like a write-up about the, the, the most recent ferry outage. Oh, yeah. Um, the, when it's out, um, I do plan to do that. And when I get time, or if somebody else can get time to go back through uh, next door and pull historically I want to show a whole bunch of them oh the, that's an idea the more that we can show it's happened and for how long the better 
just okay. the way well, I'm thinking about it. But yeah, there is there is a there is a, a mention of it on the page, the committee page. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's probably a good thing to start tracking. Okay, um, talked a little bit about impact on on residents. I think that we did go through this, didn't we? Because we were talking, we changed this a little bit last time. Um, we met. Um, once we have some survey details about um, people's reactions to outages, I think we'll probably have a some sort of a graphic here. How many people oh. um, importance or some such thing. Um, I'm not really sure that uh, we'll end up needing this. This was basically a statement that there used to be a doc. Um, and so where people mm. sometimes will be upset about, oh, well, you know, we want it to be like the good old days. It's like, well, in the good old days, we had a doc. <laughs> um, so I think, I don't know if anyone has any particular feelings about this yet, or you want to think about this later when we have the whole flow in. I, I think personally, I think it's a good idea because it, it brings up the subject that um, that it did exist. Um, and it was here. It was in the same it, place. Yeah, in the same exact place. Uh, the only reason that I'm aware of that it didn't get rebuilt is because of money at the time or, or something. But, um, you know, it did burn. Um, and it's other islands uh, the other island what, what is the other island i forget but they've had the same thing where they had dock damage and you know they really need it replaced well you know we're way past sinclair. the dock damage sinclair. yeah sinclair yeah but i mean this brings up the point that this did exist and i think that's very important does does anyone know how we would find out if there was discussion at the time about it being rebuilt or the tome probably um, I can ask Paul to do a, do a dig. I have all the tome copies dating back through history, but he's more used to it. Yeah. So maybe what I, I'm, let me make a note to myself and I'll, I have to call, uh, Paul tomorrow and anyway, so I'll make a note to add that to the list of things to talk to him about. Okay. Because it strikes me that, um, we don't want to be blindsided by some, mm -hmm. somebody remembering really accurately what happened. And it's something that we had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. Um, well, I, that would, that would be Paul. <laughs> no, there was, I, I also heard early on in this process when we were just starting to form this commit committee, I received a phone call from Buffy Lapoff, who, um, is a longtime island residents uh, resident and was here when the dock burned and she you know just really was saying like how there were a lot of residents who wanted to leave the dock and use it for like a public dock um, so I guess there was a sentiment on the island about that but that she might be an interesting person to a good person to contact um, <laughs> She does not do anything electronically. Um, She's one of those people that, you know, won't go to a Zoom meeting, does not have the technology to go to the Zoom meeting, uses a dial phone, and, you know, that's... But that's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. For that club. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish I was in that club. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to buffy. We're just glad you're not. <laughs> really? That'd be horrible. Horrible. Um, and I can try to, to get in touch with her when I get back. Um, I have yeah. her phone number at home, but I, I I don't know if she's in the phone book or not. I, I don't have a copy of it with me. Oh, I can fix that. <laughs> okay. So let's see. So we're talking about kind of, so we're still on the, you know, how did we sort of, why was this important and how did we get to, um, 
how do we analyze the existing situation? Um, the, I have a sort of this placeholder here. Again, I'm not quite sure if this will fit here or somewhere else that we will, um, from when I talk to Rima, I, 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 I'm not sure if people will expect us to say that we try to look at alternative solutions, including, you know, a non-permanent or a, you know, what else do we consider? Well, we considered the landing craft thing. Uh -huh. um, you know, talking about just coming up with a company that has a landing craft that can land uh, quickly on the island and transport people, but we would still need to have an access point for that landing craft. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's a good idea to list as many of the things as possible that we had talked about um, so that it shows that that was done. Mm -hmm. um because yeah be, because that will sidestep anybody's question of well have you looked at other things yeah we right. i'll just say it right up front that yes we have and we don't okay. have to go into the details as to why they weren't uh viable at this point in time um but just say that they were they were either eliminated or tabled or something yeah, I realize now what I, I, I think I put on the Google Doc where we took each like scenic estates, mm -hmm. what, yeah. it, mm -hmm. what it doesn't work for, Asian Preserve, what it works for, what it doesn't work for. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe that's what we'll do is just capture a few of those highlights of, of um, mm -hmm. and again in the notes pages, um, if people have a specific thing they want to see if we looked at, then we'll have that. Okay. Um, so can we add to this slide some of those areas that we've looked at? We've looked at the quarry. We've looked mm -hmm. at uh, Granger's Beach. We've looked at uh, sites on the west side. West side. Uh, what else did we look at? Um, that's right, because the committee went around. Yes, so that's all. That's in the Google Docs. So I need to go North back. North Nugent. Look we looked at private residence on North Nugent. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Are, okay. are we going to want to list those on this slide if we're going to use it in the presentation? And I think that's where maybe just in the notes pages. So in, in, the, in the bullets, we can say considered multiple alternatives. Yeah, scenic estates. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. So next for next week, I'll I'll go grab those from the Google Doc and because um, I know we captured all of them. Yeah, and I I think that you know the public doc would and we and and I think the whole big thing is is that the public doc would 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 cover the urgent and emergent uh, access because the fire boat could access the public dock easily um you know so it, it's that that and it would be in a, a spot that's you know easy to get to you know and and so that's kind of why we think it would be like a a real win-win got it yeah mm -hmm. or as possible route yep yeah. mm -hmm. okay. and if we were ever to have a multi-casualty event out here we are quickly overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Any outside help will need a place to access. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. So that wrapped up that first question, which is what's the current situation? You know, why is it a problem? And then basically what we considered for alternatives. So now we go into the next section, the proposed benefits and features about, you know, what are we proposing and why? And um, our public safety benefits. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I think we captured them. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's um, uh, public safety. Um, and then this is where I was kind of combining between the here's what it provides and then some of the suggestions for a design uh, features we would be looking for. Not the how, but just that. Um, yeah, very good. Sort of augments that slide. Um, we talked a little bit, I think, also about trying to get a, and I don't remember if it was here, a picture of someone, uh, what it takes to get onto a boat, if, especially if you have any limited uh, mobility, that to get from a boat onto a dinghy is, is not, not trivial. So I'm not sure where, um, what, that might be a little later presentation. Uh, let's see, community recreation benefits. We decided to use the term tie-ups, not more. So I think I've gone through and found anywhere I said mooring and changed it to tie-up. Yeah. Yeah, because mooring sort of is like <laughs> marina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sounds like long-term, yeah. Yeah, which is not what we're looking at. Yeah. So that was um, recreation benefits. And then uh, some of the features would be crabbing, fishing, paddling. Yeah, very nice. Oh, we talked about platform for scientific research. Um, mentioned that briefly. That's an interesting. Um, we might end up. We might end up with a second slide for this if I can find enough interesting things. I do think those are great ideas um, for expanding the. For, obviously, for parks and recreation would be of interest to them. Okay, I won't do one just on the Santa boat though. That ship has sailed. Sorry to just, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, haven't changed anything here. This is environmental. Um, and then our um, compliance with the, the shore, uh, shoreline management. Um, Uh, here's our proposed site. Oh, I think I see. I did have some um, sites that we did not consider feasible um, here. And again, in the notes, I don't have a problem, I don't think, with repeating that, that the committee did look at other potential sites and none of them seemed viable. Um, I think we'll, I, I don't know, it sounded like when I, when I brought this up last time, I, I had a feeling at the end of that, I thought, you know, we can probably just leave this whole thing out. We're going to go to Life Act and say we want to do this. Mm -hmm. They have some particular, if the county has a particular thing they want us to do, I mean, it, I think we'll say, yes, talk to Parks and Recreation about that. Um, I think we can, I'm just going to hide this one for now. I think we can uh, consider this discussed and um, uh, at this time, not considered important enough to bring up. Uh, is it like kind of a, what I'm afraid of is a big can of worms. Mm -hmm. And if someone else wants to bring it up and we address it and say, yes, we understand that's a concern that the county you know, in the state, deal with this frequently. Mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, it can be just a slide that you can pull up if you need it. Yeah. Okay, so that was that was the benefits, and now we get to the the design recommendations for the design. Um, we talked about making sure that. Go back to my kind of big, big screen here. Um, 
just got a nice see the flow here. Uh, Peer, Doc, Gangway, and L. Just so, and they, we're just consistent when we use those terms. I think the only other thing we talked about was a. I, I use the term bump out. I think for we, we talked about maybe having a platform um, that came out for fishing, uh, say for a crabbing while you're still up on the pier. But that could be, that's another type of L, I'm not sure. Um, and I think I, I didn't find any picture. Well, I had the one picture yet, but you know what I was trying to do, Chris? I went to the site where you had the um, those folks who had that, that movable, um, the movable ramp. Um, ramp. Uh -huh. um, I was hoping maybe they had a picture and I didn't see one, but I realized we probably can contact folks and say, this is what we are looking to do. Is that something you have done? And do you have any pictures? I know, I know what you're talking about. I've actually seen sites with, with pictures of them. So, okay. So we'll, we'll keep, I'll, I'll see if I can't find those. Okay. Um, let's see. We talked about compliance with the, uh, Shoreline program. Let's see. Let's just put some through this. Um, do key design. Yeah, and some of these, I think, you know, for any presentation aren't necessary because the bottom yeah. line is that's all built into what their designers and part department would be responsible for. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we don't, we're not, still don't quite have this yet, but you know, in the end, I don't know. It, it might be that we won't have um, a, um, if something this specific, we might just have some diagrams that, uh, this is so specific. This to me yeah. is way after design. I think we're at the pre-design. We're at the, the um, imagine if you will, <laughs> stage, <laughs> not the, now you're getting out the hammer and building the damn thing. <laughs> um, functional criteria though, I think that seems that's pretty good, yeah. High level enough. Yeah, we want that. Yeah. Um, you want to define what that X to Y means. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Do you feel like a, a number of boats is something that you would want to specify? I would I would be vague. I would I would drop the X to Y. Because that again, that has to that we're if you just drop the x to y we're saying this is a feature that we'd like to see okay. and the actual design people and the parks and recreation would figure out the rest of it so i don't think we have to have a number yeah because if you had a fleet of bristol bay fishermen come in you'd have 40 boats tied up right next to each other off of one dock and if you <laughs> yeah. had one mm -hmm. bellingham yacht club yeah. they would have a heart attack if somebody even tried to tie up to their boat at all yeah mm -hmm. well that's why i was showing mary this picture of one where I, there were like two deep and she said oh yeah they'll be like four deep and i have to say i was surprised yeah yeah but you just go cross each boat culturally um, i guess it's what you mm -hmm. you know what your your expectations are for that yep. that area and the people know the etiquette of of mm -hmm. you know how you manage that Let's see, we had some functional, some. Um, we decided to go ahead and put in the discussion or uh, suggestion for mooring balls and just leave it at that, no specific details. Um, this if, whole if, what's that? I, I was gonna say, if it's for the life fact thing, a lot of these details don't need to be there. Oh, uh, no, especially yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's so, just, here's the why, the where, and mm -hmm. the how, yeah, which has a parks and recreation, yeah. Yeah. Okay, maybe what we'll do after we get through tonight, if we have time, we'll go back and just maybe earmark a few 
in 10 minutes, mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. not going to have any more than, you know, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, because if you're if you're whole, you're pre, if you're presenting, if you're present, uh, I'm having, I'm so tired. If the presentation, there's the word, um, time is ten minutes, you want to allow you know probably forty percent of that for questions and answers afterwards. Well, I, I think the ten minutes is the presentation, and they'll, I'm hoping. Um, yeah, you clar I'll I'd clarify you. that. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. sometimes it's that's your whole window. Whole it's like, well, when, yeah, okay. when you like when you present at the at the city council in Bellingham, which I've done a couple of times, you got three minutes, and that's it. Oh, and then you're, you're late. <laughs> yeah, you get you off the screen. Um, okay, you, you get the hook. <laughs> okay. All right, mm -hmm. we'll find that out. Uh, this may go away because we don't. We, I, I don't think we're really going to have multiple suggestions. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, I, I left, have left this in for now, Nick, but I think our, um, um, actually, let me show you, because I'm not sure if everyone was here when, when, um, so this was Nick's actual model, but this is the from, yes, Alan. Um, uh, just a, as a comment, Nick, uh, yeah. I think those T's out from in the dot concept A should probably be pointing the other way because of where the wind the wind and the major waves would come from. Okay. Um, you mean both um, being north? Well, that one's okay, but that that last picture that was on screen, um, that one. Um, I mean, if if they're on the on the north side, that's a pocket. They would probably be better if it's possible to have them on the other side. But again, that's nitty gritty for the design people. But um, I understand that the photo fits, it, the, the drawing fits better this way. Well, I think that, I think your worst winds come out of the south. Really? Okay. Yeah. Although if it's a northeaster, it, it is icky. Mm. But mm. They, they usually yeah. are not in the yeah. time that those floats would be deployed. Okay, all right. I think that concept was uh, primarily to mitigate the amount of wake turbulence from Very the ferry. Good. Yeah. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. all right. Makes sense. But yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's all just for reference and uh, mm -hmm. whoever designs it will do what, <laughs> what they see. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a great rendering, it's, I love it. Um, um, I, I had talked to Ed Lowe about doing photography and stuff, but he needed a, a boat, and we just that hasn't happened. So I yeah. don't know. I think you're fine with these. I, um, it doesn't have to be the exact stuff. Yeah. Um, I think I think it's good. Um, and so then uh, Chris showed us this the website to. Uh, these folks who now this is the lift mechanism where we have where we'd have one where we talked about having one um, section mm -hmm. deployable year round, but preferably out of the water and deployable. Mm -hmm. So this was a really good um, opportunity to just show a section of the design or suggested mm -hmm. solution. Eight. And then I think the same folks I found um, on their website. Um, so this was also their, these were their removable dock sections. Cool. So I think, again, I don't, yeah, I think you, we, I prefer the idea of instead of us giving a here, build it just like this. Of saying these are elements, mm -hmm. and here are what those houses elements have been used different places, and this is what we would um, envision. Mm -hmm. and or, yeah, and you could, yeah, and also you could say this is why these are attractive to us. Yeah, so these satisfy the criteria we talked about that they are mm -hmm. lightweight, removable mm -hmm. off season, um, have the 
features, the environmental features um, have the, you know, we had suggested, you know, the uh, using this concept instead of the wooden grids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to let the light penetration and stuff like that. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Um, and then here is a picture. Again, this is a, a wooden one we wouldn't suggest, but this is what I was saying, whatever term is correct for possibly um, having a separate area for the fishing and crabbing where you're not on the dock. Mm -hmm. Widened area for recreation. Yeah, one benefit there, of course, is that that's also year round. So even when the dock's out of the water, you still have that available. So I'll look around and see if we see any other pictures or Chris, if you can think of any place else that these folks, um, do, these are folks that you've been, you're working with for the, um, uh, for the, does, the alternative down at the marina, these waterfront construction people. Well, no, I'm doing all the work down at the marina, so. That's, oh, okay. But yeah, no, all these ones that I found are just contacts I was making for this project, and then we found out, well, that's kind of a moot point, and not even waste it. time on it anymore. So. Okay. Okay, and um, we don't have any reason to suggest or not suggest like um, pilings or pier structure or anything that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, so, they do all that. Yep. Right. You just say, yep. here's an example. Mm. It's yeah, the simple concepts, room. ideas of what yeah. we're looking to propose to the parks department. Ultimately, they're going to be the ones that choose mm. the design criteria, materials. Ma materials, yeah. Specifics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it might be when you before you show these kind of pictures it might be good to explain that um like where you see wooden piers they might not be wooden piers because wooden piers are a little a bit of a hot topic for some people um but yeah if you preface in the in the at the beginning of any series of the, of the illustrations and stuff that here's the disclaimer got it Okay. All right. So, um, uh, and I, I was just saying that we, um, you could just do that as a preface to the, to the presentation. Yeah. The, the that, to cover to cover everything, all pictures. You know. Yeah. In, in all illustrations, if you see wooden piers, that's not necessarily what we're recommending. Got it. Got it. Okay. That, that it would be up to the county to, I mean, to, yeah. to figure that out. Because in that one, that picture you just flashed, there's, yes. that was a wooden pier. It was definitely, yes. That's why I'm hoping to find one that has that concept that's not wooden. Yeah. Um, No, I can always see if Nick can just draw across it and make it look like a concrete <laughs> <laughs> Color it, it gray. Could, <laughs> it could be done. Yeah. Yeah, back in the old days, I know I used to get be able to get clip art and, and ungroup mm. it and yep. rework everything, all sorts of magic. Um, yep. some of those, that sh those ships have sailed. Okay. Yep. Um, I, I, this is only for our purposes, tell you the truth. We wouldn't... Um, I, again, I'm realizing now, I, I frankly don't think we're going to talk about stepping down or not stepping down or whatever, or just yeah. say whatever it takes to get down from A to B is mm -hmm. what it takes. But, yeah. um, and in the end, I honestly don't think we're really even going to present a diagram, this, this uh, detail. Yeah, but it's, it's good to have it just in case. Yeah. You know, somebody says, hey, you know, what are you talking about? Um, it's on tap. So uh, yeah, it's, I think that's a good one to have in the hidden category. Mm -hmm. So Lane, yeah. is this something that uh, 
if I was to, if I'm doing the presentation, I upload it or however, put it on my computer, I can access some of the hidden ones real quick if I wanted to, or if I had somebody helping, they could access it real yes. quick. Yeah. It would probably, probably, like Alan, like you're saying, comes up. If I can say, was well, this what you're referring to? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And if you're doing a present, it, it, with this kind of thing, um, past experience, it is better if you have one person presenting and another person I was gonna say exactly. handle, handling the background, right. you know, like, oh, uh, it's too hard. Be, yeah. Yeah. It's too hard to, to focus on the talk versus the pushing the buttons. Yeah. So it's, it's usually it's better for two people do it. Yeah. And it's also because the person who is, is doing the buttons can say, you know, it, just say, oh, Chris, you know, we do have um, an illustration we're going to show in a little bit about that or something else so that you don't have to keep track of all of them. Or is that five slides away or 12 slides away or whatever? Um, but yeah, I would strongly suggest it's too hard to um, drive and yep. be the um, presenter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chris, if you need a driver, I'll, I'll volunteer. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Okay. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to. PowerPoint chauffeur. That's a new thing, I think. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 A PPC. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um, oh, I have two of them here. This is the same, um, this is the same one I had before. I, I think. Um, uh, Um, I might actually just get rid of this. Um, I think I only showed this one because that was an A ramp, but you guys told me that yeah. was for the ramp itself. That's not the dock. That's just for the ramp, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know that that. Um, how, how are they handling, Chris? Chris how are they handling? So that's the that's the the pier, and then that's the gangway. Mm -hmm. So, so back there at the pier, right at those first two pilings, that's where the this is fixed. For it to yeah. go down with the dock. Yeah, at that, that point, really it, 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 okay. we're looking for this. So it, it basically is, this is this exact same thing. This is the A-frame for handling the... Right. In my mind, that's the most sensible design for mm -hmm. what we have. Yeah, it would be the way to go, too. That's what I would say mm -hmm. that makes the most sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me, um, I'm going to hide, hide this one um, and use the other one instead. Okay. Uh -huh. um, oh, this is what, this is when I had showed Mary that I was like, I don't think we want to show a picture to our Islanders that appear to have like 87 bones. <laughs> um, yeah, because it's not really what we're intending. Right. So now that and that's, that's more of a, that's more of a Bay Marina type shot anyway. It's a state so. park dock. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's not what we're intending. But that is why I wondered if people if they want to give an idea of how many boats, but if you guys think yeah. Not. Okay. So then the time frame, which is right now, I mean <laughs> we could have a ticking time bomb here, but I, I don't think we'll do that. Um obviously for us it's that we want it as soon as possible. But in reality, yeah. you know, this is years out. There's this yeah. no way around. Yeah. 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 But if it doesn't, if not now, if we don't get it started now. Yeah. 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 It'll never happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, the dock maintenance, um, there was a question about how will it be maintained and or managed. And um, I, and so I'll just, yep. Yeah. On this one here, I think on the dock maintenance, I think this is where we look at that at that one slide of of what I think our ideal would be, which would be the the hoisting section that's able to come out, the floating dock that is able to be lifted out of the water in rough weather. Um, but if still I make... accessible year round. And then during settled weather, it can just stay in the water. But you know, here, here's my problem. 
that's not maintenance. No. Uh, maintenance so is what, the that's the wrong word. Okay, but uh, the removal, if, the removal, that's maintenance. No. No. Mm -mm. Oh. No, that is that is that is seasonal staging. Mm -hmm. Maintenance is hey, are we painting it? Are we repairing it? Are we pulling it out for barnacles? That's maintenance. So was the question about maintenance or was the question about seasonal staging? Well, we, it, well the way we interpreted it was it was the, like with uh, the discussion we had at the time anyway, was the parking lot for the, when the expanded for parking lot was put in and the Islanders agreed, okay, we're, county's gonna pay for this and we're gonna take care of whatever. Right, which Laika does, yeah. So, so that's basically in my mind, it's the, what do you, what's the part that we're gonna pay for? And so I thought that uh, moving, moving, taking the dock, the seasonal dock away for yeah. storage would potentially be maintenance. No, I wouldn't call it maintenance. That's my, that's the, the word maintenance is the only thing I have a problem with in there. Okay. Because um, uh, maintenance is, is operation between the parks department and a public committee to manage and maintain something along that line. Because that's really what it comes down to. We're offering as a community, just like Leica does for the maintenance of the parking right. lot. Right. The cooperation with the parks department to lessen their burden and right. to take on responsibility in right. areas that would allow us to. Right. But in some yeah. cases, they won't allow us to, right? Right, exactly. But my the things that you've got listed there, and here I am pointing to the screen, like you could actually see what I'm pointing to. Uh, <laughs> the, the word maintenance isn't right for, uh, it, it's seasonal. This is, you're talking about the seasonal issues of it. The seasonal, and it's uh, it's the seasonal how it's handled seasonally, mm -hmm. and whatnot. The maintenance of the park area and stuff, or you know, doing barnacle and painting and stuff. That's probably going to be a county thing, um, uh, like like it is like with like when we talk about the 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 uh, overflow parking area. Uh -huh. Leica handles uh, finding people, volunteer, teams of volunteers to mow and trim that area. But when it comes to the lights, we don't touch it. Um, and when it comes to asphalt, we don't touch it. it. There are only certain things, like Chris says, that they'll let us do. Um, so it, I think we can mention that there are the commu community is willing to take on as much in assistance with managing it as possible. Um, but the, the actual moving of in and out of the docks and stuff for seasonal, that's a seasonal thing. It's not maintenance. Okay. That was, that's my only thing with that. And that simplifies it too. Yeah. You know, I think that's good that we simplify it and just say we're we're willing to cooperate with the parks department and as much as they'll let us do to lessen their burden. Right, and you don't, you can even say, um, commu you can title this this particular slide as community involvement, um, and then bullet point that hey, you know, we'll help with the community is. Uh, Groups, I wouldn't say the whole community, mm -hmm. I'd say groups, uh, groups of people and organizations uh, are potentially, well, potentially is not a good word, but I, I, would, I wouldn't say the community as a whole, you don't want to give that impression, okay. because it's not, it's usually a subset, but there are concerned citizens that would be willing to be, to participate in as volunteers in assisting parks and recreations with the dock as they need it. So like if they come and say, hey, can you handle moving 
the docks to X place, we would be willing to do that. We have people that will do willing to do that. Um, but they might not say that. They might say, oh, well, we'll do it ourselves. Um, it's just like, you know, they do their own thing when it comes to that ramp for the ferry for the passengers. Uh -huh. um, so I think we just say, you know, we just say there are citizens that are willing to help in any way the parks and recreation would like us to, mm -hmm. you know, some better wording. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will, I'll hold, I'll do a, play, uh, a placeholder for this. Yeah. And I don't, I wouldn't say community involvement for maintenance. I would just say community involvement, leave it real wide open. Well, they, oh, okay. Cause originally we, we actually had, I mean, that's supposed to be a section on this, which I always puzzled me because I don't know how I, I think it all, like you say, it only came up because of how we do the, because of the way we do the parking lot. We well, no, but the the question from Terry Terry was talk about maintenance and management and maintenance. I think is the way it was phrased. Well, management. Um, but I didn't know what management. Meant. See, I don't it either. Include it could include a lot of things. It could include you know uh, keeping guests. Uh, aware of the rules if, if, if that's right. needed. Uh, it can include in maintenance, picking up garbage. If there's garbage cans right. on the dock, who's going to take care of the garbage, uh, mm. cleaning up the area, those types of maintenance issues, uh, yeah. greasing zerk fittings, if there are going to be any on the ramps, those types of things that I think they would allow us to do, which would lessen their burden. Yeah. Uh, so it can yeah. include those two things. And she does mention those two things directly. Yeah. Because right. it it really, it needs to be a definition from them. So like the parks and recreation, Leica has what is called a letter of, basically it's a letter of understanding. It's not even a contract. Memorandum um, of understanding. Yeah. And that, you know, the, the community is willing to step up to whatever they need. Um, and then you could, you know, examples and do a sub bullet of, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, we, we may have to go back and ask, yeah, ask Terry about that. I think one yeah. of the questions that mine had always been, what are other county parks? Right. Doing? Yeah. What are examples that would, would yeah. fit? Yeah, because we, we know what the involvement is for the parking lot, but what is it, what types of things are expected or hoped for from the community assisting for docs type things? Since you may be able to answer that question, then we could just plug it right in here. Okay. Okay, so we'll leave that right now and we will have just uh... Oh, and at one point you asked if it was okay to use that logo and the answer is I think going to be yes. Oh, okay. So, um, Mary, if you mm -hmm. and I can try to remember to ask that at the uh, okay. meeting coming up. Mm -hmm. I wanna make a note. Okay. And I would have thought if you guys want to share any of the slide presentation to give them an idea of where we're going with this. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, um, I had signage too. I don't remember signage. That would be no. a county thing. That was, that was like, um, you know, hours, hours of use. Uh, but it would actually if you, have, if you have restrictions on rafting or requiring, you know, boats must must mm. must be willing to raft. You know, rafting is required or rafting is not allowed. Uh, maximum boat length. But, but that's all county. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, our that's what that's what we mean by signage, I think. Yeah. Okay, and then the final um, in terms of not maintaining the dock per se, but managing how the dock is used was just giving some idea about um, that we would have coordination for response to ferry outage um, where we're mm -hmm. trying to get in one place, the different resources that are available, the how you 
let someone know you need urgent access, for example, okay. and um, having a who's notified. Yep. And I've actually been working on something for that. Awesome. I like to work way in advance on stuff like that. But there are some things that um, that we can do. Excellent. And along with that, uh, the county already recognizing that they're going to make deployable lamps on the new dock system for the ferry. <clears throat> and what they explained to me, it's the idea is either the captain of the ferry or the fire chief or a battalion officer will be able to make those calls when it needs to be deployed. It could be the same for the public mm -hmm. dock. Got it. Because obviously if it's, if the dock is out of the water right now, then who, who do we notify so we can get it yeah. into the water? And, yeah. yeah. Who, 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 who can push the button to lower it? Yeah. The big red, uh, the big red button. Yeah. So we'll have something more to say about that. Not tonight. Wrap up. Here we go. So Cool. Well, we're, we're um, coming right along. Let us just, if we could then, imagine that we had the top, and I'm going to say, I'm just going to save this um, here. Um, if we were to imagine doing a presentation at LIHAC where we would, what would be the key points we would want to make to LIHAC? One of the things the we talked about in previous meetings was the potential access for the foot passenger ferry uh, to access this public dock as well. So it would be a cooperative with them, allowing them to have access not only for the foot passenger ferry, but also for their work crews when they come across to work on the ferry terminal. Hang on two seconds. Because I've seen them come to the shore with their work boats yeah. and have to scurry up the rocks as well. So this would provide another platform for them as well. Um, on the on the high level, um, I matter of fact, I just changed this. Hold on, let me. Let me get back into it. Um, I just made, made a wording change. Um, talk amongst yourselves for a second. It'll take me a minute okay, to bring this up. To, um, <laughs> save this for a minute as life hack, just so that I can. Yeah. I but uh, I think a life hack, a, a presentation to life hack, or anybody else at this point, is the. Why are, why, why are we doing this research mm -hmm. at high, that high level, uh, which is the wording that I just was playing with here a minute ago, because um, uh, I needed something for on the, uh, the YouTube page. Um, but, and I'm, I'm bringing it up here. The, um, it, the, the, the why, where, when and how are the are the major things that you want to talk about in any kind of thing like this? Um, the The wording I'm I'm using currently is purpose. Investigate working with Whatcom County Parks and Recreation Department to establish a public dock that provides recreational boat access to and from the island. Parentheses, not a marina. This is felt as a good option to additionally provide urgent need access to the mainland when there is a temporary ferry outage. Uh, so that's sort of like the, the why type of thing. You know, why we exist, why we're look, don't, looking at this stuff. Um, and so I think it all needs to be pretty high level. Um, it's sort of like the, you know, the, the overview, the, uh, the the quickie elevator speech type of thing. So I would I would, you know, I'd I'd cover the why we were 
created, if that hasn't already been said before at Life Act, it might have. I, it's been said. <laughs> okay, so you don't cover that again, um, but cover. I would cover. Uh, get, I mean, I I wouldn't necessarily. You might want to just highlight what was said before, just real quick, for people that weren't in that mm -hmm. original meeting. But I would head towards the more meat of the matter since that meeting. You know, just do a quick recap and then slide right into what what the the newest uh, iteration of the information is, without the the nitty gritty details, but on, you know, high level type stuff. That's great, Alan. Uh, just my my opinion. I won't say humble because I've never been humble in my life. <laughs> it ain't it ain't in my wiring. Uh, but does that make sense, Lane? Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I just. Uh, oops, not that last one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 see, I, I see. I know. I see what you're doing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So. Um, just back. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That. That was just the, you know, why the early. Mm -hmm. why. Yeah. The, yeah, and because you don't want to, you don't want to chew up time in your ten minutes. Yeah. Covering stuff you've already covered. Right. Just yeah. you know, it's like when you go from one TV show episode to another. Sometimes they'll do a little quick recap at the front. Yes. What? Yeah. What you um. Since in case you missed, in yeah. case you missed last week, <laughs> here's the highlights. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think if we uh, leave. Uh, let's think about this. I'm not. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with that. Um, I mean, the uh, I I would mention that you know information about. Where, where the committee is and stuff is on the website, period. Well, yeah. And, and the other thing is, I mean, we can certainly give them a handout, which means we could put this in the notes page. Yeah. So, um, so let's. You have to be, uh, by the way, uh, personal experience, don't hand out uh, additional information before the meeting, hand it out after, because while you're talking, people will be sitting there reading it not paying attention to what you're well, saying. Yeah, I, I told Rayma I would send her just the slide so she, someone else would have it so they could show it if somebody, if whoever was presenting didn't. Right. Have no, I mean, uh, if you have a handout. But you can give a link. We could give, if you could get it on the website for us, we could yeah. just send the link and say, if you want to see uh, more, then there's mm -hmm. notes. And right. The, we're just covering the very high level. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah. I'll leave that as hidden and maybe just put it on the. Um, yeah. But I, I just, notes. but I was referring to anything if you, if you have a handout of any type, don't hand it out in front. Always hand it out at the end. <laughs> link to, at the very last slide, link to this presentation. Yep. Yep. Um, so there's our goals. Uh, what was that question, Lane? Just the, this would I would just be show the slide for goals. Um, yeah, I'd say yes. Yeah. We met. These were our goals. Um, because that's that, that the goals I think is one that needs to be repeated every time. Mm -hmm. That's the important. That's the meat of the matter. And here in project scope and terms, I would get rid of terms such as up to two hours. Get rid of. Uh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The short term type is all we need. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, not number of. Probably get rid of that completely. All right. Um, loading zone, yeah. Um, um, is zone the right word, Mary, or is, would area be a better word? Um, yeah, it's it, it sometimes they'll call them loading zone, sometimes, uh, uh it, it, the docks will be painted load and unload only. No tie yeah. up, but I, I, I only, but that's that way you have a reserved area 
that yeah, you're, not, you're I, not I, I know, have to move a bunch of boats if you have an urgent need to get no, in I, with a safety I, boat. I, I, know, I know what it is. I'm just trying to think of, the. I think, I, I was asking the question, but I think the word zone is actually a good word because most people are familiar with truck loading zones and things like that. So mm -hmm. even if they're not familiar with how docks work short for that, the mm -hmm. word pick up and drop off zone might be uh, the word, a good word, uh, but, but yeah, you could just say pick up and drop off. Yeah, it, so um, it, you can have like short term tie up, but then you can have pick up and drop. It's like, I, I guess they like sometimes call it active loading zone. Um, yeah is it just it's just it's usually an area it's either painted red or yellow no no i i i, yeah. I, I know that i'm just i'm just saying if we, i'm just looking at the slide and playing mm -hmm. i know nothing about docs what's the mm -hmm. best wording but I, me personally so, i know i know what this is i'm just playing i know nothing about docs so what does the word do the words pick up and drop off does that paint complete enough picture i think it does oh and if you wanted to it be a little bit more concise you could use the word zone in there but the the slides have to be be able to convey to the biggest audience what this is um, yeah well i think you want you want to have three three main things you want to have you want to have a short-term tie-up place where people can tie up, get off their boat, go to the bathroom, go to the island, or do whatever. So you want that. You want to have also a designated active loading and dropping off zone. So I, I'm not just I'm not just where you can't park. <laughs> yeah, I, I I know, I, Mary. I'm not disagreeing with what's here. Yeah, I'm talking about the wording. That's all I'm talking about. Um, mm -hmm. I agree totally with what's here, and I know that those are important. But what I'm wondering is, do we need to? I don't like using this term. Uh, and I'm not going to even. I'm not even say it because. But if we say short-term tie up, should we then have as a presenter's note to the side that says, "This is what we mean by that"? Okay. And mm -hmm. when for pick up and drop off, should there be a presenter's note where they can then expand on it and say, well, this is for like loading people on and off of your, your personal boat. So people understand what these are, or at least have it in the notes. So if anybody says, well, what does that mean? The presenter's notes can have the, the right text for it. If it said short term docking, would that be clearer in your mind? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because not every that. yeah not everybody knows what tie up means, and, and uh, tie up can also be misconstrued to being overnighting. Right, right. Uh, Although it, it does say short term, but yeah, I, the, <laughs> the important thing is you gotta take this to the lowest level of people's experience with docks. Assume they have no experience with a dock because the general populace on the island is who this is aimed for, not just Life Act. So we want to make sure our wording gives the best, paints the best picture of what we are talking about um, in the shortest amount of terms. So like pick up and drop off, um, loading and unloading would be simpler. Yeah. Yeah. Like a designated loading zone. Yeah, I think having the word zone in there is actually helpful. Yeah. Yeah, because people will equate that to what they see on the streets. You know, don't park here yeah. because it's a loading zone. Exactly. So, yeah. But it's not necessarily just passenger. It's, right. it's everything. Yeah. 
pick up and drop off. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I. That works. That's not yeah. No big deal. Yeah. Okay. Access to waterfront. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, scope terms and emergency access scenarios. Because this is now, remember, I'm actually doing this for life hack. This is a because we we're just sort of on the very narrow view of mm -hmm. ten minute presentation. Um, for uh. Life Act. And what we might want to do is it's about eight o'clock now. So um, let's call this more progress than I was expecting. Yay. Um, <laughs> but still, um, right now we have, uh, I've got it down to not um, public safety, the benefits, uh, proposed site, and a few pictures. And I think that's the the focus. Yeah. So we'll think about that. Think about um, your members of LIFAC or you attend LIFAC meetings, what kind of presentation would be appropriate. And then we can meet next week. And yeah. And we really need to know how much time is total is allocated. Right. I, okay. Um, community. Post pending here. Yeah. Um, do you want to take some time to talk about the survey? I would like to, if people can can hang in for about ten minutes. Yeah, let's get her done. Okay, I'm bringing okay. it up. Um, okay, let me uh, screen share. Let's see. Lane, Lane you wanted to go out of screen Lane. share. Claims that I'm let me, uh, all the way up, all the way up the top. It should. Yeah, I, I moved my um my uh <laughs> my controls so that I could stop share. There we go. All right. Okay. So let me bring it up. That's that one. There. And I'm going to hide you all so you can see the better image. Okay. So this is the post. Um, obviously the word draft would not be on it. So you all were sent a link to this page. Um, and this is a post for the front page of the website. And it is also the survey itself. So just look at this section here first. And we need to talk about this date. Um, so if you all just read that first and see if you have any comments or suggestions. Tell me when you're done. By the way, this link goes back to the committee page with all the other information. Actually, I think I'm gonna do this. Okay, so um, any Comments or suggestion on the text, this text. No, I don't see oh. anything no. in my mind. Uh, all right. Okay. So the, the question Mary and I had was this date. Does that? And I think we selected that date um, so that we could add add this information in before the uh, LIFAC, um, not LIFAC, the like a general meeting presentation. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that idea. Mm -hmm. 
January 22nd? Uh, yes. Yeah, that gives us um, one, oh, bugger. one, two, three. It gives us three days to tweak anything and mm -hmm. get this and consolidate the data. Okay, so so does everybody? Does that make sense to everybody? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is the actual survey. This is live. Um, I'm going to just throw some information in there. Um, it's uh, the basic name, email, confirm the email because people have been mistyping them. All right, then, uh, and this is what Mary uh, told me she wanted and we you know, negotiated some ways of saying this stuff. Um, so we thought, um, you know, what, what's the demographic? You know, why, what's your experience and are you an islander? And these are these are multiple choice. You can, you know, you can click multiples of these. All right. Um, and it is re anything with a a red asterisk here is is required. I'm getting noise, and I don't know what it is. Um, it could be from my family talking there. They're oh, okay. loud in the background. I'll, okay. I'll, no, I'll that's mute right. myself. No, no, that's all right. I couldn't tell if it was somebody talking to me or not. Uh, so, and what you select here is going to influence what you see down below. But I'll, not important, but I will show you the various ways that works. Uh, so what type of outage was it? Uh, we talked a lot about the wording of this. Um, it's so we narrowed it down to scheduled maintenance during the year, mechanical breakdown, and weather. We're not. We're specifically not talking about the dry dock. So that's why we worded it this way. And then, when were you impacted, and for how long? This is just a text block. They can type in however they want to tell us that information. And then we're asking for what was a major impact that you had? Um, and they can, they can select one of these. So this up here is where you see these square boxes. Those are multi, multi choice. And I'm going to, I'm going to click two of them for a reason here. Um, these are the major impact things that we came up with. Uh, if you read through this, see if there's anything else that you can think of that we missed. Well, your other encapsulates anything that could be missed. Yeah, well, if, and if you click it, um, uh, you know, it's, you know, you're, you're in here. Yes. So, you know, hopefully. All right. Um, then there is this, were you able eventually to get cross during the outage? That itself is a yes, no question. So if you click no, nothing happens. If you click yes, it's going to say, how did you get across? Um, via privately provided boat like Chris, um, uh, via boat provided by the Willows, uh, via a county provided walk on ferry. Um, that's Your referring. That's referring to when they finally got the ferry, the passenger ferry here. Is there yeah. is there anything else that needs to be in this area? Yeah, I made a statement, but you cover it under via a privately provided boat, whether it was somebody else's or yours. So yeah. looks good. Okay. Um, then um, Mary wanted, you know, tell us the nitty gritty. And then there's this section. If you read that.
Great. I like it. All right. Um, and then because, and this is where it, this one here, the business one will only appear if you said that you were a business. If you said you were an individual, an islander or a visitor, this one appears. If you click both, they both appear. So it's, it's so that we can know that what was your personal impact, financial impact, and then what was a business impact, if that was, if you were both. Great. Uh, and then there's a submit button. And when you, let me fill out some stuff here. I'm just, I'm just gonna do this. Um, yeah, yada, yada. Uh, uh, $60. Mm. All right, and you know, if I miss something, it's gonna tell me, yes, okay. It wants to know how long, when were you impacted? Um, October or, or 2020. It, it doesn't matter. If they say anything in there, it'll be fine. Schedule maintenance, uh, we're going to say weather. I just want to fill this out uh, to show you what happens here. Submit. OK. So it's, it'll come back and say, thank you for helping the committee. If you have any questions, we will contact you via email. Now, I'm going to stop share for a second. And while I'm loading this up, um, hey, Nick, were you uh, doing water meter stuff today? Yeah, that was me. Pardon? That was me. I couldn't understand a word of that. That was me. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you, I, I had to tell you where my meter was here at the house. <laughs> you were at my house. Um, I'm, you're muddled. I can't understand you at all. Uh, okay, so here's what happens. Uh, let me find it. Bing. This is the email. This is the email that gets sent out. Um, and it's going to Mary Ross. Um, and a copy always goes to admin at the uh, website for it, because we archive it. Um, so there's a backup copy. So it's the name of the person, their email address. And then it's it details each of the questions that they asked, that they were asked, and that they answered. So. Here's she giving you an idea of how it looks as it comes in to Mary. And it can be Mary and somebody else, it, you know, any combination. I don't know um, the logistics of who's going to compile this, but um, I can send it to multiple people. So that's just to let you know how it looks email wise. Um, no data is stored on the website itself. It is all just ish transcribed and put into an email, which is then sent to whoever wants it. And that's all I have to say. Fantastic. Looks great. And I'm trying to stop there. Okay. Anybody else on that? Boy, right, thanks for all the work. That's awesome. So, so the question then becomes, when do you want it to appear? Night. Now. <laughs> Sooner the better? Yeah. Yeah. I think we can, if I think that we wanted just to get everybody's opinion on it before we launched it. And last week, Lane and I discussed a lot of stuff that um, just the two of us, I didn't feel comfortable saying pulling the launch button. Yeah, um, I do, let me, hold on, oops, wrong button, damn it. Uh, all right, hold on a second, I hit the wrong thing. Um, post pending. If you, um, if you want this to appear, um, I just wanted to show you one quick little thing. 
um, the screen. Okay, sharing, yes. Okay, this, this block right here is what would show on the front page. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay. Uh, so if you all want it to happen, I can make it happen here momentarily. It's up to you. Yeah, and I think what we need to do then is um, write a blurb um, for Paul to put on Brown Betty mm -hmm. right now, and somebody writes something for a nasty neighbor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, next and, door neighbor. <laughs> and I will, I will provide a. Um, this, um, so that I can actually track how many people actually go and look at it. Mm -hmm. And can you um, send me something? I can post it on Facebook. Yeah. Perfect. Or you can cut and paste. You can copy and paste right from the page. Um, I'll do it. And uh, so I'm just, so, um, uh, wait a minute. I had a note on there. Wait a minute. Let me see what that note was. I just blasted right past it. Um, it was something to talk to you all about. Hold on. Come on. Folks, I'm going to bow out because I've got a phone call I've got to make. So thank okay. you for all your work. We'll look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Sounds good. Yeah, Rocky hopefully Rock. from home. <laughs> all righty. All right. Um, I will have this up in about two minutes. Um, I do have a note. Um, I have a note that I wrote here to myself. We should maybe figure out some wording to get folks that had service companies, et cetera, on the island for, for them uh, working, you know, doing work at their house, whose staff got stuck and get them to forward the survey to the company or something? Or should I, do we just ignore all that? And just, I think that would be a great idea. Um, so uh, should I just put that in the, here, let me show you what I'm looking at. Um, or is it real quick? There you are. I'm actually in the back end, so it doesn't look exactly like you're normally looking at it. Um, so this is my note that I had. So where would you put, where would you put this kind of thing and how would you word it? Maybe in the invitation to take the survey. Well, this is the invitation here. Yeah, if you, if you had, if during one of the ferry outages you had a, an off island con or help help can you help can you help us spread the word and if you had an off an off island contractor mm -hmm. or business mm -hmm. uh, that you know was impacted could you forward this link to that to that person or yeah. something okay something yeah. along that line okay yeah. all right i will make it so and that'll be a separate link that way i can track that as well oh great um uh, all right, so I took out the draft bit and I will work on this. Um, let me disconnect my screen share because this is gobbledygook for you all. And I think, oh, Alan, uh, just thinking about that, if, if you, if, if, where you say the public doc committee, um, I think you'd want to go the Lummi Island public doc committee, um, just use the word Lummi Island so that it, it it connects to for the off islanders what the survey is for because I am going to be forwarding mm -hmm. um, the survey to um, the oh, folks that were visiting me on the day of the outage and ask my friends to um, just you know say how they were impacted <laughs> okay so um you're talking about right here where it says public doc advisory, say Lummi uh -huh. Island. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. 
I would insert Lemmy Island there. Done deal. All right. Uh, anything else that you all can think of? No. All right. Let me un, un stop the share. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll work on that, and then um, whenever you can this evening, if you can send me the last meeting and this one, Mary. Yeah. And I'll, I'll I take will care. do I'll, that. I'll do that right now. I am. It's all right. And Lane, I'm sorry. I'm still getting caught up on linking the stuff you sent me. Oh no worries. Uh, well. I'm way behind. <laughs> okay. Been having all sorts of issues here at the house. Um, all right. That's all okay. I have. Excellent. Thanks, guys. And you'll see it appear on the website probably within the next half hour, if not before. Okay. Great. Great. Stop recording. And I'm going to turn off the recording. I'm going to end the meeting for everybody. So we'll see you next week. Bye, doll.